Hi guys, this will be the fourth video in the series about sepsis and in this video I want to do a recap of what we've seen so far and I want to talk to you about the ALU. In the previous videos I've told you about components, how they are connected to the DAP. I've talked about control signals that operate components and we've seen the user interface with which we are able to manipulate the values that are stored within the components. We've also talked about memory and the memory address register, a specific component, and we've talked about clock pulses. Nothing happens till the clock strikes. And we've talked about the small baby steps or micro steps that can be combined to, for combined to form operations. An operation is also called a machine code instruction or upcode operation code. We, will, we have seen a few upcodes, uh, 0, 0 and 1, 0. Further, we have talked about immediate values. Immediate values are values that are embedded within the instruction. And with that, we built our first program. Next part of this video will be about the ALU. Alright guys, the good stuff. We're going to talk about the ALU. The ALU is actually the core of the CPU. It performs logical and arith arithmetic operations. I'm breaking my tongue about all over some of these English words. My native language is Dutch, so hang on, I'm trying. The ALU reacts on a control signal to perform its work. It's the control signal that I've called EXC, you can see it here. Um, and the operation, the all operations of the, of the ALU are performed on register A. We've seen that a couple of times, it's here and on the AOPR, the ALU operand. And the execution takes place as follows. Register A will be register A operation operand. That's a bit theoretical, isn't it? This is what I mean. Register A equals register A operation operand. So it could be register A equals register A plus what's in the operand or minus what's in the operand or and, a logical and, register A logical and what's in the operand. So this is, that is how the CPU, uh, the, sorry, the ALU performs its operations. <coughs> how will the CPU know which operation to perform? Well, based on the EXC control signal, the ALU will look at the value of the opcode. There we have it. You can see that as the control unit determining uh, which operation the ALU has to perform. And each operation, each opcode, in sepsis has 8 bits, numbered from 7 to 0. And the bits 2, 1 and 0 are used to determine which operation the ALU is going to perform. And the, this, there are 8 of them, and I've so far used uh, 6, namely the add, subtract, compare, logical and, logical or, and logical xor. No problem if you don't know what they are now. Furthermore, per possible um, ALU operation, you have to think about in what addressing mode do I want to, this thing to perform. Do I want to use an immediate addressing mode, which we have seen in our f previous videos? Do I want to perform the ALU operation on memory? So between register A and memory, or do I want to perform the operation with register E and another register? 
it only says register B here, but as you know, we also have register C. The modes depend on the micro step definitions, so we do not have to code them in the instruction, in the, in the opcoder. Uh, but I use, myself, I use uh, bits 3 and 4. I'll show you that in a minute. When we decode the instruction, first we have to extract the, the value for the instruction for the operation that we need to perform out of the opcode. And that can be done by uh, performing a logical AND with that what's in the instruction register and the value hexadecimal 7. That's a mask and that contains three ones at the end. So these five bits will be stripped and then we have the value we need to determine the operation for the ALU. So here we are, bits 3 and 4, I promised you. Bits 3 and 4 are um, used by me to group the instructions by addressing mode. Um, you could, for example, code compare memory from the address 3a. So register A will be compared with the contents of a memory at address 3a. And it would be, in this way, coded as 01. That is my memory addressing mode. And 010 is an add. Uh, sorry, a compare. We can see that here. Compare memory. 01 is the addressing mode. 010 stands for compare. Furthermore, I chose to use three ones in the first three bits that were so far not occupied. I've chose the, the value 111 in those three bytes, uh, bits to code all my instructions in the example language definition file resulting in this table. The table is in a slightly different order because I grouped them by instruction, namely add, subtract, compare, and, or, and XOR. When you would um, list them in order of opcode, they would have the um, immediate first, then the memory instruction, then the register B, and then the register C instructions. Okay, now that we've kicked the tires, let's see what this baby can do. Uh, we are going to load a value of 03 in register A. Remember that load immediate instruction. Um, this will be a good moment to show you how you can see within the program the definition of the different opcodes. This is a command, INS instruction, and it shows us all instructions from the language definition file. At this point in time, we have a no operation, a load immediate in register A. We saw that yesterday, remember, we loaded uh, value 57 into register A. And here we have the new one, which is an add immediate with an immediate value coded into the instruction. Now the fun thing here is that you can display E0, which is our new instruction, and it will show you the microcode steps. So this one has five microcode steps. <coughs> First it has the two microcode steps that every instruction have, because we have to load and we have to up the program counter. And here come the specific parts, because it's an immediate instruction, we also need something from memory. So we have to um, read from memory at the cur then current address 
which is in the program counter. And from that address, we're going to perform a memory out and an LU operation in. So this will put that value from memory inside the ALU operand. And of course we have to increment the program counter again. And then we say the magic word AXC, which will make the ALU perform its operation. Now let's go back and let's code this thing. We are going to code from address 0 and we are going to load in register A an immediate value of 0, 03. We did that yesterday, nothing new here. But now we are going to introduce our new instruction add immediate value to register A and we will add the value of 0, 01 to register A. So now our program is in memory. We will go back and now we will um, execute by using the letter I for instruction. We will execute our first instruction with, which will result in register A containing the value 3. There we go. And the program counter is now 2. Why? Because it's pointing to the 3E e here. The 3E e is the next instruction and it, that is uh, E0 and it has an immediate value of 0, 01. So it will add that to register A. So what, what does this do again? Um, it will put the program counter value into the memory address register. Then it will read from that address the value of memory, which is the immediate value, 0, 1, and it will put it into the ALU operand and it will increment the program counter and then it will execute the addition. Let's see if this thing can add things up. So we are going to execute the next instruction. Watch register A. And there we go. It added one to register A. It's a lot of work for one addition, isn't it? More about this the next time, guys. Thanks for the attention.